Welcome back to the Brand Personalization Video Marketing Course. Today is September 20th, 2011. And today we're going to cover how to create professional videos online. But first, let's go ahead and go straight into the course update so that way we can see how we're doing. Okay, now here on the channel, You can see we are up to 2,695 channel views, 30,795 total upload views, which is awesome, 1,154 subscribers, and 2,414 friends. So all in all, we're doing pretty good so far. And as far as the 50 day, I mean, 50K, 30 day challenge, crushing it. Okay, so since we're going to mainly talk about how to you know, create your videos online, I'll go ahead and mention that Facebook has their, their own, um, you know, free tools for you know creating videos personally I don't really care for them um, you may be able to get some type of professional results with them um, I haven't had very much luck rule of thumb that I go by is if it's free then it's going to be open to the masses and if you are trying to project a professional image you don't want to use tools that anyone has access to I mean there are a few exceptions to that but that's a pretty safe assumption to go by. So I'll go ahead and show you some of the tools that YouTube has real quick and then we'll go into Animoto which I recommend. Okay there's a few tools here each of them do their own thing. Um, some are animating pictures, some are making a cartoon. So, you know, I would recommend playing around with them, you know, just to, you know, get an idea of, you know, what you can do. And maybe you can actually have some good luck with them. Um, the way that you get to these is just go to your video section and then um, there's a tab for create video. Now, over at Animoto.com, um, you know, basically they have a very basic editor, but it's very simple to use. So that's why I'm recommending them because you can still get professional results, you know, without really knowing what you're doing. So just to give you a quick example, I also run the brand for um, MVPPrints.com which is a personalization company for licensed sports prints. So this is a quick video that um, I created to you know, show people you know, with um, Pittsburgh Steelers. So basically I did add text, which was this box, and the the main text is the top text it's a little bit bold and it comes up first and then the subtext which you don't really have to use but I still prefer to basically comes in as a transition after and it's a little bit smaller so basically I just added text a couple times and then Right here, you can do, um, you know, add more, you know, to upload either an image or, um, you know, video. Usually, I don't like to upload videos. You know, I usually like to just keep, uh, um, you know, image files. That way, I can make sure that everything is cropped the way that I want and make sure that, um, you know, I have full control over what's going up. But just going through, you can see it's just, 
you know, images and then text. Images, text. Images, text. So it's very simple. The only thing that I don't really care about Animoto is it requires you to use music. I would never upload a video to YouTube with any music because where you don't own the rights to it, there could be copyright issues. Um, even though they own the library, if you don't have you know specific rights in writing, there could be issues. So what I would recommend is either use some of your own music for the upload section. Sometimes it freezes here, but if you go to finalize, if you haven't added any music yet, it'll tell you to go back. So it's just a site flaw. You know, sometimes it acts up, sometimes it doesn't. But basically, you know, if you're going to use any backtrack or anything, I would use an instrumental or some of your own music. And whenever I put up videos for clients, usually I'll do a voiceover because they don't specify, you know, what kind of backtrack it has to be. And this is an excellent way to, you know, have some text or images and you know, still provide your own voice and i think if you're not going to be in front of a camera you know at least putting your voice in a video you know, will better help you connect with your you know customers or your target audience but once you get finished with the music section and then you choose if it's going to be full length or um you know, if you want to speed it up or slow it down, then you just click continue and then it's going to go through and render everything. It takes a little bit, but you don't have to wait for it, which is definitely a good thing. Now, if you are going to get an Animoto account, what I would recommend is go ahead and sign up for a free account just so you can get used to it. But I'm you know, it's very limited in the free version and I can go over the pricing here in just a second but just so you can get an idea of what an Animoto video looks like I've already taken the liberty of you know rendering this for you so that way you don't have to wait on it and I'll go ahead and take it full screen so that way you can actually see it. it it was rendered in low resolution but you can go all the way up to 720p and that's one of the reasons that I'm going to show you the pricing plans because unless you're going to go with one of the more advanced versions then there's really no point in using the service because the lower resolutions aren't going to do you that good plus I'm um, you're going to have the Animoto branding. Now this is gives you a good idea of, you know, what to expect with this type of video and you know, this is something that I would definitely do a voiceover with. I wouldn't just you know have some music or something. I would be explaining what the product is. And for product demonstrations, this is an excellent way to you know put out a professional video, you know, that looks nice and classy. It still you know demonstrates what it is, what you can do, you know, things like that. Now if you are actually trying to communicate with the customer or client or you know whoever the target market is then I don't think this would be the best way to go you know I still think that would be best to you know leave it to you know a camera and a mic you know but if you're dealing with product or you know something that you can put into you know pictures and words and just do a simple voiceover then I think this would work out just well for you And of course, there is the Animoto branding I was talking about. 
Now in the pricing plans, if you have light, basically you're going to be limited to 30 seconds, which probably isn't going to do you any good at all. The video I just played was you know, maybe a minute and 15 seconds, something like that, and it was still relatively short. So if you think of a 30 second video, you're not going to get much out of it. Um, I would still try to keep a video of this nature in the one to two minute range, you know, but I wouldn't go any further than that. Now, the plus version, it's five bucks a month, but you still have the branding and they charge you for the higher resolutions. So if you are going to go this route, then I would recommend going straight for the pro, which is um, $39 a month and they don't charge you extra for the higher resolutions and they remove the branding but it basically depends on you know what your needs are just like we had to go for the reseller account because we provide this as a service for our clients if you plan on reselling the video then it's five hundred dollars a year and you have to pay that all at once you can't do the monthly but as long as you're doing this for yourself then I would definitely recommend the pro account just to show you some of the other features there so they say that there's over a thousand licensed tracks but like I said I don't know if that would cause any issues with YouTube and the main reason that I focus on YouTube is because they're the most stringent so as long as you make everything to do well on YouTube then you'll do well on all of the networks and we are back so you know pretty much that wraps it up um, there's a few things that you can do online but usually I would recommend just you know getting in front of a camera but I want to show you you know a simple way that you can go online and produce your videos without you know needing to be tech savvy and you know without having to get a good camera and worry about lighting and you know things like that like I said I would still recommend doing a voiceover even though it's not required but if you are doing that type of video you could even go on Fiverr or you know one of those other sites and have someone else create them for you so I'm going to go ahead and cut this short this is the first video in about a week that we were under 15 minutes so I'm going to take pride in that and try to get out of here before we go over the 15 mark um, but you know, now that we're getting into producing video, the next logical step is to go into the proper way of uploading. And I know it may seem like, you know, uploading videos and creating videos should have been at the very beginning of this course, but that was on purpose. As soon as people get past those basics, they completely forget about, you know, all of the other things that go into building out a brand and a channel. You know, mainly, you know, building the community aspect, you know, with, you know, your online branding. And without the community, your videos aren't going to do you well at all. So now that we have the community out of the way, let's get some content up there and give those people something to look at. So tomorrow's lesson, uploading your videos the right way. So till then, this is Dustin with Brand Personalization. Take care.